have the avocados. Gentlemen, we need to get back to work. Vega is getting closer to his goal, and a man's liberty is at stake. We know what kind of technology he's using and how he's going to use it. Now all that's left is to stop him. Was I supposed to say something cool too? That, that doesn't really matter right now. Right, what we need to worry about is stopping Vega. I've made a few calls, done some research, and I know where Vega is hiding out. Great, let's do it! Right, we need to stop him now. H how do we do that? Where have you been the past five episodes? Five episodes? We all know what he's going to do. He's going to invest the money, go to the future, and then capitalize. Exactly! But you don't understand how he's going to capitalize, do you? Uh... So, no. Yeah, you know. It's about how much the value investment has increased. And you get that by selling the investments. Yes, but that's not the only way you can get money. If you have your investment and it reaches a higher price, you can sell it at that price. With bonds, they have coupon rates. But the coupon is the interest payment. Now suppose you have a bond worth $1,000 with a coupon rate of 7% per year. After the first year, you receive $70. So I get it. The return is the coupon times however long the term is, right? Yes, but you could also sell the bond on the secondary market and get more than you pay for it. But then you wouldn't get any money from the interest rate, right? Right. Going back to the $1,000 bond, if you hold on to it for one year and then sell it for $1,100, then your return would be $170. 70 from the coupon and 100 from the resale? Correct, but that's not how it works with stocks. It's not? No. No. In stocks, you may get a small amount of money called a dividend. Unlike interest payments for bonds, dividends are not the main source of income for stocks. They're not? No. The main source is selling the stock. But only if you sell higher than you bought, and the company doesn't fail. Keep in mind that even with the large spikes and drops in the value of stocks, the market will average out over time. So the return is always positive. <laughs> over a long period of time. For short-term investments, the return won't always work out the same way. But the fluctuation affects it much more, and the return won't always even out. But he won't be using a short-term investment. He'll be using a long-term investment, where the fluctuation will even out. Mm-hmm. And the crazy thing is, it's going to work. Well, what are we doing sitting here for? We were explaining it to you. Well, I get it now. Alright, let's go get Vega. Come on, I can get us there.